Hey developers, let's look at the top resources that you can use to learn Vim. Let's take a look. All right, so here I have brought up one of my favorite resources. I'll leave all the links below to the resources I talked today about learning uh, Vue.js. By the way, if you go to the Manning website, I have my book there, Vue.js in action. I am just about uh, it's in early access. You can get the first three chapters with the book. And um, actually, chapter four will be out very, very shortly. Actually, I've written uh, quite a few chapters, but we're slowly releasing them, and I'm doing lots of updates and fixing problems with the code and making it even a better book. But you can see here, Vue.js in action. It's in er, Manning's early access, and uh, this is my book. So I have left a link below to where you can. Uh, click on it and join my mailing list where I give discounts for the book. I also show you where you can download the first chapter for free. Um, hint, you can just go to the Vue.js in action website and click free download. Uh, so it's definitely well worth checking out, join my mailing list, and I will keep you updated on Vue.js and how well I'm doing with this book. It's been a ton of work, but I'm also deep diving into it to make sure that I create the best book for you guys. And also, sometimes I just give away the book for free. So look for that too. But if you're looking to learn, this is a great resource. My book, Vue.js in Action, only three chapters out, soon to be four. But we're going over everything you need to know to get started. And even to, better, more than to get started to become an expert in Vue.js. However, there are a few other places that I would highly recommend to go. Uh, one is the Vue.js uh, website here. It's called GitHub slash Vue.js slash Awesome View. It's a GitHub resource that you can get all your Vue.js awesomeness from. Of course, uh, the official guides, official resources are linked up here. If you don't know, let's take a look here. You can see here the official guide. If you don't know, Vue.js has an excellent guide system so if you want to jump in right away and you're looking for information definitely look at the official guides they're really great i've used them um, numerous times we also have links in here for projects using vue.js so uh, another youtuber i will not mention his name actually two youtubers kind of went back and forth we're talking about vue.js one uh, chris hawks on the actually we'll mention his name he went through and, and opened up, up a bunch of different websites and said, well, these websites don't use Vue.js. Why do they say they use Vue.js? And I mean, I had responded to this earlier that just because a, a company uses Vue.js doesn't mean necessarily they use it on their front end. They might be using it for their application um, farther in their website. They may use it for internal tools. They might use it on their mobile site. This is a pretty good list of companies. And well, in this case, these are projects using Vue.js, but there's also uh, a list of companies on the same list. Let's see here, community, enterprise usage, interactive experience, apps, websites. So this is the one I'm thinking of. So this is definitely a list of companies that use Vue.js and it tells you where they use it. And here's different apps. So and there's enterprise usage, a lot of uh, definitely a lot of Chinese companies use it. So if this is kind of where a great place you can go to 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 find out what those companies are. If, if you ever in a conversation with somebody and says no one uses Vue.js, then go to this website, go to this GitHub, and just look it up because there's definitely a lot. Uh, another few things I like uh, books. Hey, there's my book, Vue.js in Action, but just to give credit to where credit's due, there's been more books. Uh, the, Majesty of Vue, Majest, the Majesty of Vue.js, that was released in November 2016. There's us learning Vue.js 2, Maj Majesty of Vue.js 2. I don't know why they get in there in twice. Maybe because they released a new version? I don't know. I've, I've read their book. It's good. Vue.js 2 cookbook. So those are just a few resources that came out just recently. And once again, we're going through the projects, but there's so much stuff here that's linked. Uh, podcasts, 
least people are mentioning Vue.js in the podcast. I don't think there's a Vue.js podcast yet. I mean, who knows? There, you might see one soon. Uh, ex official examples, basic examples. Let's see what this is. So that's back to the guides. We can see the API reference here. Let's see here. Here's the to-do. You cannot make a framework nowadays without doing a to-do app with it. And of course, here is the view implementation of it. You see what they did here. I mean, some of these links are for the older version of view 1.0. So just keep that in mind. Some of these are updated, some are not. Of course, Laracasts are a great resource. Uh, that community and Vue have worked together a lot. Layer view and Vue. So let's see what else do we got. So tutorials. So here is a ton of different tutorials of where you can find out information about Vue. I'm not going to go through all of them, but let's just click on one and take a look. Learn Vue by two. There's by there's another one on Laracast. Let's do this one. So this is good. Uh, Akamind Maximilian, he created a good series on Vue. I watched some of his stuff. I should contact him really, just because I know he does a lot of Vue stuff, and uh, I'd love to give him some of my books to give away. So I might I might contact him. So yeah, that's it. I should probably put some of my tutorials up on here somewhere too. I've been creating a few. Here's one on, here's another YouTube resource in codingthesmartway.com. He's done some. I've definitely done a, quite a few view tutorials. Like I said, I need to add that to this list here. Here's some, some example apps. You know, someone the other day was talking about PWA, progressive web apps. I mean, that's definitely something Vue can do. There is an add-on, uh, there is a plugin for it, and people have created uh, PW apps using using Nuxt and and Vue. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what else is in this list here. So we already talked about the projects. So you can one thing you can see is that a lot of people have been using Vue in their projects, not just websites or apps but using it in some way or, f or fashion. I probably see Vuetify somewhere in here, I'm sure. Commercial product projects. So collection UI con components for, let's see, a collection UI controls with Vue.js support. Oh, interesting, the next generation of JavaScript controls. You can buy stuff like this, that free trials, which are really neat. Close this. So yeah, more websites, Reddit news, you can see here. That's cool, a lot of these have the source code available. So if you're kind of getting to view, you can just look at, through the GitHub and look at the source code. Interactive experiences. A lot of people uh, mentioned this, that Facebook actually uses Vue.js in their Facebook newsfeed. Uh, apparently it was not created by Facebook employees, but maybe like a third party came in, but they actually used it. So that's really cool. Uh, we talked a little bit about a lot of the Chinese companies using it, enterprise use it, Alibaba, Baidu. UI components and libraries, so you can see all these different, like here's some table ones, here's notification, here's loaders, progress bars, tool tips, overlays, parallax. I really should try some of these and do some of these tutorials, that'd be fun. Menus, carousels, charts, time, calendar, map, Audio, video, infinite scroll, pull the refresh, markdown, PDF, tree, social sharing, QR code. So you can see it goes on and on. And then a bunch of miscellaneous ones, which is cool. You can see that this community is really active. People are creating plugins and, and things like that to make it even better. Autocomplete. Here's UI layout stuff. Here's Vutify. I was mentioning that earlier. So Vutify is a semantic component framework for Vue.js 2. It aims to provide clean, semantic, and reusable components that make building your application of re a breeze. It uses material design patterns so you can make your application very beautiful or beautiful. <laughs> Remember that video game, Beautiful, beautiful Joe? That, that uh, reminds me of it. Yeah, so it keeps going on and on and on. I'm not going to go through all of them, but lots and lots of libraries, lots of ways to 
to do things. So if, you, if you're looking to create a view app, maybe look through here to see if someone's already created a plugin for some of the things you want to do. So you don't have to kind of reinvent the wheel. Of course, if this is a production app, you might want to be careful what you add. I don't know how stable these are, how many bugs they have in them. Source code editing. So here's some Vim plugin for Vim view. I actually use that myself. It does does a little bit of highlighting. Scaffolding clients, re-under view applications of browser only. Server, so Viewtober, to Toucan, and then some more generators. So that is my just quick review of some great Vue.js resources that you guys should take a look at. I will leave a link below to where you can see this webpage yourself. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I appreciate it. And as always, click that like button. If you really like it, click that little bell button. That way you'll get notified next time I create a video. Take care.